welcome back to the channel. Today, I'll be taking a look at the PRVU Rocket Refueling Kit, which is a very interesting mask, so let's begin. The PRVU was a kit for refueling and handling rocket fuels. It began service in the early 70s to the late 80s and replaced the PRV kit. The PRVU was later succeeded by the PRVM kit. This kit saw use in the NVA, Soviet Union, and other satellite states. In Eastern Europe or the export countries, this kit would be called a PRWU. In the Soviet Union, this would be called a PRVU kit. The PRVU can be classified to three stages, the early, mid, and late. The early kit had a dark gray bag that was very tall because it had two filters, the EO20K and the EO20P pre-filter. The mid kit had a much shorter bag that was more square looking and had a EO65 filter. The late kit had a light gray bag that was very short and had one hole for breathing. This kit contained a EO65K filter. The mask itself, 65 filter, hose cover, rubber hose, the right bat. Now for the overview of the mask. So this is the PRVU face piece, which is called the SHMSR. And by its name, this is based on the SHMS right over here. So these are basically the same masks. Except the voice diaphragm is a bit different since, you know, here this kit is for refueling rockets and the Soviet rocket fuels are highly corrosive and oxidizing. So there is this metal cover on here and there's no holes in it, so I can open this up. It's basically on the inside, it's the same thing, but um, on the outside there's this cover here so it doesn't have any holes and um, the corrosive feel wouldn't get inside and melt the little plastic thing that is basically the voice emitter which is a membrane and um, the rest of this mask uh, the lenses face forward just like the SHMS can be used with optics it has tisset tubes that run along the side and um, here's intake outtake so it's a bit longer the SHM41 style ones this is the intake, 40 millimeter gauss. This is the outtake. So it's basically the same thing as an SHMS. Pretty basic. It also has this hearing thing. So over here, the rubber is um, much thinner, so you can hear better. And um, that's basically it. So this mask was made in 79. This is a size 3. The PRVU was also produced in the black color, but the black color is much more rare than the white color. Hose and hose cover. So the hose is just a regular 40mm gauss hose made of rubber, which connects the mask to the filter. And um, the hose cover, or hose sleeve, is uh, a cover that protects the hose over there from corrosive elements that is in the rocket fuel so if it spills or anything and it gets on your hose it would uh, melt through or corrode through the hose and it's not going to be very good so the soviets have designed a hose cover for this on top it's made from a, a sort of rubber that is from the mask it says 25 here i don't know what that means and the rest is made of this uh fabricish vinyl material so um it protects the hose 
from corrosive elements on the filters. So this is a EO65 that came with the kit. So um, the other filter for the early kit is the EO16, and um, the EO16 would usually be used with a pre-filter called the EO20P, which goes under the EO16. The filter that used the EO20P pre-filter is the EO20K, which is basically the same size as these filters, and um, I don't have that filter because it's a lot more rare, but I have these two. So here is the EO65. So the EO65 would usually be used with a DP1 pre-filter, so I can show that in the picture right now. The bag. So the bag is made from this vinyl material, it's pretty heavy much heavier than the usual canvas bags and it's made from the same material as the hose cover so this would stop corrosive elements from getting in and um, it has these little popper things I don't know what to call them they're not buttons just pop that out and this bag was made in 71 I think so this is a early bag you can see there's two holes at the bottom this component is for storing the filter so this is definitely an early bag and on the left side you can see this component is for the mask there's this extra little component here for defogging inserts and um, on the side here this is for storing the hose cover and um, on the other side here there's this strap here for going around your waist and there's this extra component. I've put my um, defogging inserts in here, and you can simply just put that in. So, this bag is pretty good. It's not too horrible. It's pretty rigid. I actually like this bag because um, it's very rigid, it's heavy, and um, everything seems to fit, unlike the other Soviet bags. And yeah, I think this bag is a pretty good bag.